and then, and then to come and also to speak, to be, to be able to say, look, by speaking we are spreading mutual knowledge, and by mutual knowledge, mutual respect, and by mutual respect, building the common future. Muslim must communicate more, and this is a call for the young Muslims. You have to speak. You are Austrian citizen. You have to stand up and to be able to say who you are, what you want, and how you work. The people are asking for that. If you disappear, they are building the story. If you speak, they are listening to your story. So this is the way forward, inshallah. <laughs> Two main points, and I will end. And I want to thank the organizers for this invitation and really, it's impressive to see so many people coming to this. You know, we have to talk, but we have to communicate. Can I give you an example? If you look at the French team, the French football team, you know the story about Zinedine Zidane. Let me speak about him just before the last story. Just during the last 10 years, what he was doing at that level in sport was first, he was proud to be, and he still was proud to be, and he is proud to be who he is. No problem with this. He was French, and he was working and acting and playing for France. So he was saying, I'm a French man. I'm a French citizen. But what he was doing for the French team was he was giving something to the French team. He was putting goals, he was helping to play well. When you give something to your team, nobody is coming to ask you, where do you come from? They are so happy to have the, you with them that they don't want about your ass. When you are, when you are a problem, or when you are perceived as a problem, say, okay, where do you come from? You are a problem for me. But when you give, come on, come in. When you, 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 you create a problem, you are perceived and we are asked, where do you come from? What the Muslims and the Austrian Muslims and the European Muslims should do is to give something, is to be here and to be active for the better. Meaning what? Not only to speak. What we need today is Muslim, is Austrian citizens, men and women, working for more social justice, for more, uh, uh, dialogue between the people for a, a, a multi, a pluralistic society. So you have to be involved in society, in civil society, not only in Islamic organizations, in every single organization promoting the principles you have when it comes to no races, no discrimination, and to vote, to be citizen. You have to tell the people around you the best way to be a good citizen and a good Muslim in this country is to vote and to be active in your society. So this is contribution. And to go out, to go out of our intellectual ghetto, our cultural ghetto, our, our, our uh, religious ghetto. Let me ask you something. For the last months, for the last months, the Muslims who are in this room and the non-Muslims who are in this room, how many people, not from your background, not from your religion, not from your legacy, have you met and worked with during the last months? Ask yourself, are you sitting with people who are not coming from your own background, your own religion? If you don't do this, you are not building a pluralistic society. You speak about it, but you expect it to happen without you. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So it means that the Muslims who are here should go out of the intellectual ghetto. But we also have to say this to our fellow citizens. You speak about pluralism. You speak about freedom. Why are you always speaking about this around yourself, among yourself, not with us? We are part of you. You are part of us. So let us come together. Let us go out of our intellectual and, uh, and cultural ghetto. Because there are places in our countries now when you have white people together, not so white people together, black people together, coming from the same religion, and we speak about pluralism. It's not pluralism, it's a patchwork of community. It's a structured ghettos. Structured ghettos not going to help for the future. So let us come to this, and the Muslims have to do this, have to go out and to come. And please, about this business of identity, 
The people are coming now everywhere in Europe and they are asking us, are you first a Muslim or are you an Austrian? Who are you first? And some Muslims want to be proud and say, I am a Muslim first. And some other who are scared, I am an Austrian. They don't know how to. This is a stupid question. Don't answer this stupid question. I'm not one thing. I'm many things. And if you ask me my identity, and this is something which is, I have multiple identities. I don't only have one. And as for my example, I am Muslim by religion, Swiss by nationality, European by culture, Egyptian by memory, universalist by principle. I'm all this. Welcome to multiple identities. Don't accept the people to put you in one, in one box. You have multiple. You are open to the world. This is the message that we have to promote. This is the message of our citizenship and this is the message of our religious commitment as well, which is a universal one. So this is something which is what we have to promote out of our citizenship, but being involved in our society by showing the good example. You know, at the end of the day, we have to come to a very simple verse of the Quran helping us to understand. We have made you a community of the middle path. Why? Why are you the community of the middle path? In order for you to be witness to your message before the people. Be a witness. When the people are looking at you, they, have see, they, they must see in you people trying to be consistent with their values. To be witness. This is what you are, to do, you are coming to do here. You're not coming to convert the people. You cannot convert the people. It's not of your business. This is God's business. Your business is to be a witness, to be a man or a woman acting in the name of his or her principles and contributing for the better of the society. Last point, and this will be my conclusion, which is an important point. The Muslims today lack creativity. What we need today is you have your principles, that's fine. You have your citizenship, that's fine. But what we need today is Muslims, men and women, coming with a creativity to think about new ways, to think about, you know, we are speaking about culture. Tonight, you will have Sami Yusuf coming, and he's trying something which is, in the name of its principle, our principles, trying to promote something which is a, an alternative culture. The mass culture is something that we are all here around, and sometimes we love something we don't decide to love. And we have ethics, we have principles. What we have to do is also to promote something which is a creative alternative culture. Creativity is missing. Muslims are scared to come with creative approaches in the social, at the social level, in the cultural level. This is something which is needed. Muslims should come back to something which is open your mind, come with creativity, find new ways, be, be creative in the social ground as well as in the political ground and the cultural one. So we need something which is not only to repeat and to repeat and to repeat what was done. There is a lack of intellectual creativity, of cultural creativity, and this is all the Muslims and the young Muslims should promote here as Europeans. And that the future will be a, a European Islamic culture, faithful to the principles and creative and adapted to the European culture. At the end, you are Austrian by culture, you are Muslim by religion, and you, are, you must find a way to be confident as to your identity. Be the people of confidence and be the people of contribution and go out and speak with the politicians, speak with the social workers, speak with everyone of goodwill in this society and say, our common future is our common hope and this is a new we. We need to create a new we. You as an Austrian, me as an Austrian, with our backgrounds, with our religions, but to build this new we in the name of our common future, not us versus them. We in the name of something. No, we for justice. We for uh, acting against racism. Let us come to this. And this is the Islamic message. It's not going to be easy. It is not going to be easy. You have people who are building their political agenda by saying them, by saying they are the threat, they are the danger. 
be part of the society, refuse this discourse. But the only way to refuse this discourse is not to put yourself on the margin. This is exactly what they want. Come in the mainstream, be part of the society, and show them by being in the center that they are not going to accept them to put you in the margin. This is the message of Islam. This is the message of European Muslims. And this is, inshallah, your message. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.